Okay, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Course in Miracles and uh, the work of Dr. Hugh Len and Hoponopono, as, as he's done. And he's quite, he's quite famous. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert on him, but uh, roughly he, um, he uh, does this process of data clearing. Uh, you know, thank you, I love you, uh, please forgive me with uh, a whole, pr a whole, a whole uh, prison of uh, criminals in Hawaii. And when he did his process of Hoponopono, and uh, everyone in that prison got well, and they closed the prison down. And uh, from what I, what I understand of it, he's, you know, through, the, through forgiveness, he's clearing his data. Uh, he's clearing the data in his consciousness uh, of this. And I would say, from the Course in Miracles, from Lesson 14, it talks about the collective consciousness, that we're all, we're all, all our egos are, if you like, uh, connected in the sea of consciousness, the oneness of consciousness. So, if I forgive someone that, uh, of, uh, you know, oh, you're an axe murderer, but then I forgive, I forgive them for being an axe murderer, then I'm also having an effect on them, even though I've cleared it in myself. You know, it's also clearing the collective, the collective imprints within the collective karma. So, now another thing to bear in mind is like, well, why doesn't, why doesn't when anyone forgives someone, the other person always get well? I think there's a level of karma in that, but there's also a level of how advanced the person is who's clearing. So, like you know, if Jesus forgives someone, it's going to be different than if. Uh, someone who's done no spiritual work tries to forgive someone because the power of someone at that level of spiritual advancement who's so connected to source forgiving someone is different to someone who's not done any spiritual work and try and forgive someone. Hence, um, with Dr. Hawkins' work, when you start to get into those, those people, the saints or the avatars or the enlightened teachers, you know, thing, when something happens with them, because they're connected so strongly to source, they're in, in, connected so much to the infinite light that the, it's quite commonplace for the miraculous to happen when, when they're in the room. Like, for example, with, uh, you know, so in India, they would call it, uh, uh, when you get to a certain level of consciousness, they call them the cities, you know, where you can be at uh, two places at the same time, or you can levitate, or you can get all of these things, all the natural laws break down when you get to very advanced levels of consciousness. So, uh, or with, uh, you know, like with Mother Teresa, people would come with cancer and suddenly the cancer would disappear in their presence. So when you get someone like Dr. Hugh Len at advanced, at advanced level of consciousness, just clearing and forgiving, uh, forgiving a whole prison, it's, it's also, there's the potential for miracles. And in that case, the miracles happen and that everyone in that prison got well and they shut the prison down. So that's the thing of just clearing. And the Course in Miracles does say it. Course, well, I do the lessons from Course in Miracles, and the lessons from Course in Miracles, they're so poetic. And they also mirror what Dr. Hawkins' research has done. Like, for example, one person who reaches a state of uh, enlightenment, a very advanced level of consciousness, is counterbalancing the negativity of millions of people in the world. So, you, like if you had Buddha sitting here, uh, also a TM meditation, uh, transcendental meditation, also has similar research out there. Like. Uh, you know, but Hawkins said, like one enlightened teacher, if you get to enlightenment, you counterbalance the negativity of millions of people out there who are in negativity. So, just to have that presence on the planet is already doing so much good as they radiate out all of that light. Uh, with with Tia meditation, I can't, I'm not quoting the research exactly, but it's out there on the internet. They had something like 4,000 people doing meditation, Tia meditation in Boston twice a day, and the, the violent crime rate went down something like 40% while they were doing the meditation. So it just shows, when you start to do that advanced work, or you do forgiveness work, and you're at an advanced level of consciousness, uh, you know, really powerful miracles. Now, I just wanted to relate that to the Course in Miracles. The Course in Miracles for me is to 100% clear the ego, I do the lessons, and then to get through that timeless, formless infinite place, i.e. free of the limits imposed of the ego through time, thought, space, and space. So, and the Course in Miracles has some lovely passages, I'm sure you remember them, those Course students, it's like, as you do this, the birds will start to sing and the rivers will start to flow, 
as you're doing the course. And, and it says, like, as you do the work, not just you, but many hundreds or thousands of others will be helped as you start to do the spiritual work, which is very much in alignment with Dr. Hawkins' research of, you know, as you go up, you know, you're, you're helping to alleviate the negativity in the world. And also TM's uh, research. So, and also, you know, the, the miraculous nature of doing, uh, forgiving someone in that the other people also may experience miracles, as was the case with Dr. Hulen. So I sort of see Dr. Hulen, when he says clearing the data, going to a non-dual or going to an enlightened place. So he's no longer tracking that information, you know, as one person judging another as being wrong. And so inviting in uh, the, the miraculous in, in, that, in that way. So I sort of see, you know, Doc, uh, Dr. Hugh Len is just doing another way of doing the Course in Miracles, but totally clearing it so you can get to those enlightened consciousness. And anyone who does that, you know, by just clearing the data or forgiving something, you're not only clearing it from your own consciousness, but you're also clearing the collective consciousness to, to, to some extent, depending on where, what your level of consciousness is. So, yeah, that's how I sort of see the two, and, and that Dr. Hugh Len would be an advanced mystic in his capacity to clear things.